The brothers Sparks here, here in the studio. morning, everybody. Let's get pretentious. Or well, some DJs like to say the Sparks here. Oh, we, yeah, we don't like that. No, I know. Or yeah. Lay Sparks in France. Lay Sparks. Yeah, that's who we are. Lay Sparks. <laughs> you saw Lay Sparks. Have, have you uh, ever seen Max Headroom? Oh yeah. Yeah. Why is he always putting down Belgians? I know that you you spend a lot of time in Belgium. <laughs> well, it's well, the thing to do in Europe, you know. Here here they have Polish jokes, and in, and in Europe they have Belgian jokes. Belgian jokes. How many Belgians does it take to screw in a waffle? <laughs> so you guys have uh, your album out, which is uh, music you can dance to. Right. You have the music you can dance to tour currently on the road. Yes. Which and, the, and, the, and the tour. And the tour like a sweatshirt. Yes, yeah, a great sweatshirt. Thank you. Are those available at the concert? They'll be available. I'm glad you asked that, Richard. They will be available. That's a neat one, actually. Now uh, we've got, actually got some tickets to give away. Oh, good. For uh, Sparks tomorrow night at the Pacific Amphitheater, it's going to be a K-Rock party. In fact, we're going to have a pre-concert party. And um, with these two pairs of tickets that we're going to give away, we'll give away invites to that pre-concert party hosted by April. Oh, your, all right. Your number one fan oh, in shucks. all the world. Ah, oh, shucks. She really, in fact, we made a comment about that, that every time I would turn on the radio between 6 and 9, I'd hear <laughs> April go, now when's MCA going to get this album released? <laughs> it's out. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> and Sunday night at the Palace. Right, right. And, and they just added a second show, by the way, too. So if oh, when is that going to be? It's going to be a couple weeks after the first one because we're playing between Sunday night and, and two weeks. We're playing a bunch of gigs in between, but they've added it for October 10th. Oh, it's sure so. so. Friday night, I believe. Oh, well, that would be great. And so if you don't get in on Sunday, come again uh, on October the uh, 10th. And it's oh. all ages, by the way. So all ages. any of you that are all ages can come, too. Now, your new album has uh, a couple of tracks on it that were on different records. Uh, one is Modesty Plays, which was, what, 1984? Right. It was only released as a French import up until now, and we just had had so many requests to stick it on a, a record that was available in the States, because that's a little bit hard to find, the, the import of that. So we finally said, yeah, we'll, we'll stick that one on the new album, and then we said it's been laying around for so long, we felt like we wanted to just try something different with it, so we went in and did a, a remix of it, and hence the different version than the original one that, that you've probably heard on K-Rock. Well, I used to get a lot of requests. I go to clubs, people, you know, these are like notes I got yesterday when we did the rock and roll evening news. People give you notes that, could you at 7.30 please play this song? I used to get requests all the time at specific times. They'd say, could, at 8.22 tomorrow, <laughs> could you play uh, uh, Modesty Plays from Sparks? Oh, my God. And I figured out why. It's because they couldn't get the record and they were... Ah, taping, taping. Oh. bootleg piracy, that's so illegal. Taking that money yeah. out of the pocket of starving artists such yeah. as ourselves. But now you can buy the record and get your own version of Modesty Plays. Right. And now, we won't tell anybody to do that now at all with what you're going to play. One, a few minutes, I don't know when you're going to play it. But oh, yeah. But don't at all think that you can get near your tape recorder and, no, because and record the next thing, which is not available anywhere yeah. yet. We're actually going to transmit a subsonic... Uh, tone while we play the remix of Fingertips. And your recorder is just going to self-destruct if right. you try to do it. Probably take out half your neighborhood with you, <laughs> so don't try. Okay, anyway, we got the remix of Fingertips coming up, but right now I want to play another cut, which is on the Music You Can Dance To album, which is Music You Can Dance To, which is also on the Rad soundtrack. How did that come about? I'm glad you brought that up, about that Rad soundtrack, which we're really proud of. Was it the first time you put a song in a movie? No, actually, it's not. We've First had time it. We put a song in a movie like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. We've had quite a few few songs um, in different movies. We had a couple. Angst to my pants and uh, Monster of Love were in Valley Girls. We we seem to get. I asked a lot of times to take one or one song off our album or else to do one song for uh, some movie. We had one in uh, Fright Night as well. A song that was called Armies of the Night, which we did just for that movie. So and you've written specifically for a movie? Yeah, that that one, Armies in the Night, was specifically for that movie, but then occasionally they'd take one right off the album intact, uh, like Angst in My Pants was used in that, Valley Girls, and just different ones. And this was used for, Music You Danced to was used for a film which was called Rad, which I don't think um, anybody saw. Well, apparently, didn't they want to get like Robert De Niro and Sean Penn in it, but they couldn't do it, so they got... Yeah, yeah. so yeah. they got... Um, they couldn't ride BMX bikes. Which, <laughs> they got some guy that won an Olympic medal or something in there. They even, they even when they played our song in, in the mu movie, they had the people clapping on the wrong beat. It was like playing a song in Poland, and they were clapping <laughs> on the one instead of on the... Uh, on or in the Belgium. 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> well, let's Maybe play that's why that movie did well there, huh? <laughs> Let's play music you can dance to, and then coming up in just a little while, a K-Rock world premiere, the brand new remix of Fingertips, which I think is, is one of the best cuts on the album. Best song you guys have ever written. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is a joke there somewhere which we'll explain later. It's K-R-O-Q, Sparks in Studio. If you want to talk to them, we'll take your calls in just a little while, 818-213-520-1067. from the uh, 14th Sparks album. Oh, my God. <laughs> they can't possibly have that many records. so young. <laughs> Music you can dance to on the Rock of the 80s. In fact, the title track, right? That is the title track. That is it. In right. fact, the album's called after that track. It is. It's, there was some coincidence they named the album after that track. It's really strange, that. So what music have you guys been listening to over the past year that might have you know, influenced your writing styles, etc. after 14 albums? Oh my God! I don't, I don't know. I, I listen to kind of more standard stuff. I like things like Peggy Lee and all that. Peggy Lee, yeah. But I, I like I like just generally I like the sort of stuff that you you play. Of course, they say that to every DJ. Yeah, that's right. Show it goes. He's going to run over. He's going to say that to Tammy T. Oh yeah, right, yeah. I just love that heavy metal stuff. You didn't tell really that. Really, basically, either, you know, the kind of music I listen to when I get up in the party. So. <laughs> you run over to power and you're like, yeah, yeah. Janet Jackson. Hey, it's Janet great. Jackson. Oh, kind of all that boring disco stuff is what I really <laughs> like uh, listening to. You know. So we're going to call April live on the air in just a, a little while and, and wake her up. She'll love it. I'm you know, sure she'll she, be thrilled She likes to get up at 8.20, but right, right now, <laughs> Rhonda Kramer is here, and I'm sure she'd like to say hi to Sparks. Oh, definitely. One of my favorites. How are you guys doing? Uh, they, don't, they don't have headphones. They, they don't have headphones. We can't headphones hear you, right but now. we're... We're doing fine. We're anyway. watching your your lips. I'm going to. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to purchase headphones for your studio. Oh, How's they'll, that sound? they'll go walkies if you buy uh, headphones. By donation. Well, I'm going to glue them to the table. Okay. Well, we're going to glue you to the traffic because this is brought to us by our Southern California Master Dealers Association. Well, we've got two sig alerts in effect. It's been a messy morning, and it's not supposed to be this way on a Friday, but. What can I tell you? The far right lane of the connector road, South Golden State, to the south Santa Ana, and to the outbound Pomona remain closed. Now, we had a truck that's gone over the side. He lost his load of produce, and it's backed you up well beyond the Pasadena. And a spill load of drywall, westbound Pomona Freeway at Brea Canyon, from an overturned truck. That's affecting the two right-hand lanes till about 9 o'clock. South Santa Ana at the Garden Grove, another accident clearing. They've removed it from freeway lanes. Westbound San Bernardino, forget it. Busy from Azusa all the way into downtown L.A. Westbound Santa Monica right at Normandy as a stall in the number two lane. That's backed you up into the downtown area. And forget the Coanga Pass. It's very difficult from an earlier accident, Hollywood southbound, just north of Gower. I'm Rhonda Kramer, and that's the K-Record Board on The Rock. Thank you, Rhonda. I'll chat with you on Monday, right? Okay, bye, all three of you. Oh, thank you very much. And if you get a chance, make sure you listen through the weekend, all right, Rhonda? It's a classic K-Rock flashback weekend. Oh. All your favorite oldies. Oh, great. You're going to put some sparks in there. Oh, yeah. Sparks. Cuts from albums 1 through 13. Terrific. All right, darling. Truck buyers, here's an urgent message from the Mazda hotline. It's your in clearance time at your Mazda dealers, and special factory cash allowances mean you can save hundreds on some of today's hottest truck values. Forget sticker prices. We're dealing on every 86 Mazda truck in stock, including the B2000LX with convenience package. It's already sticker priced hundreds less than Toyotas and Nissan sport trucks. And now, special factory cash allowances can save you hundreds more. We're dealing on everything. On Mazda trucks that were rated number one in overall customer satisfaction in the National Survey of Products and Service. On Mazda trucks that the April 86 issue of Off-Road Magazine called Dollar for Dollar, the best truck buy in America. Yes, we're out to make you the best truck deal possible. So if you're in the market for a truck, see your Mazda dealer first during your in clearance, while special factory cash allowances mean tremendous savings. Get a great Mazda truck deal at your local Southern California Mazda dealers today. J.D. Power & Associates 1986 Compact Truck, CSI Reports, MSRP Comparisons, Actual Prices Set by Dealers. Hey dude, where'd you get those hot multicolored shorts? At Sweats and Surf Back to School Extravaganza, they have a large selection of guava surfwear. These shorts come in several unique prints such as Geometric, New Wave, and the new Atomic print. Talk about quality. These shorts are double-lined and even have hats that match. 
Sweats and Surf also has the American-made sweats in 28 colors to choose from. With Sweats and Surf's helpful staff, I was able to coordinate my entire school wardrobe. That sounds great. Is there a Sweats and Surf near me? There sure is. They have 14 locations in malls all over L.A. and Orange Counties. And while you're there, be sure and sign up for the drawing for a $100 gift certificate that will be given away at each location on September 20th and 21st. And on the 21st, K-Rock's poor men will draw the grand prize winners for a trip to Hawaii and a party on a 90-foot luxury yacht supplied by VIP fantasy locations as seen in Southern California Bride Magazine. Wow, Sweats and Surf Back to School Extravaganza sounds like the hottest place to be. I'm going to go right now. See you there. Oh, oh baby, all right. Fred Raider with a Federated Super Saturday Sale. Starting tomorrow, Saturday only prices on super brand names like Sony, NEC, Maxell, Panasonic Techniques, and more. Rush into Federated for Super Saturday buys like a 13 inch diagonal TV 118, a remote control 14 day programmable VCR 199, T120 videotape as low as 199. Yo, the fun starts this Saturday for the biggest selection in ultra low prices. Get moving, get funky, get down to the Federated Super Saturday Sale. Uh huh, uh huh. Ron and Russell Mayo, the guys from Sparks in the studio. The brothers from Sparks, they're playing uh, some concerts this weekend. The Pacific Amphitheater tomorrow night and the Palace on Sunday night. And uh, April's hosting the pre-concert party at the Pacific Amphitheater. We've got tickets to give away to that in a couple of minutes' time at 818-213-520-1067. But Ron and Russell are saying we should really wake up April and oh, say hi. We probably should so, wake her up. Yeah. She loves to get up this time in the morning. The only so. polite thing to do. So let's give her a... A live phone call now. He won't just get a wrong number, so he with his headphones feeding back. All right. If a guy answers, hang up. That's all right. I'm just going to make one of these obvious statements in a second. It's ringing. Okay. <laughs> cool. It's one of those, yeah, real obvious ones. It's like when you walk into a room and you're dripping and people go, is it raining outside? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> April. Yeah. How are you? I'm okay, we we got a couple no, of people. Not. not anymore. <sighs> oh, wake up. Get up. I don't like what's going on. <laughs> okay, now we'll, we'll have a translation of this. Uh, so I on. think she said it sounds like Russell and Ron, didn't she? That's right, it is Russell and Ron. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Fine. Well, <laughs> Get up. Come on, man. We've been up for a while. We played a show last night, and we've been, we raced down here from Santa Barbara, and, you know, we're fine for him. What's it's 5.30 right now. You're on in a half an hour. You better get going. <laughs> yeah. we, Good luck. We thought we would call you, you up. You guys do the show for me, all right? <laughs> okay. We, we thought we'd wake you up, Abe, and put you on the air, because uh, you're going to be hosting this pre-concert party tomorrow at the Pacific Amphitheater. That's right. I'm looking forward to it, too. It'll be a real good show. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you. Yeah, so we just wanted to wake you up and, and, you know, wish you well. I'd hate to think Sparks came down to K-Rock and you were asleep. Well, actually, when I heard they were going to be on your show, I was a little, uh, <laughs> wondering about all of that. No, no, bo no boys, no fighting, no boys. <laughs> but it's okay, you can have them this once. Okay, darling. Well, you roll over and go back to sleep. Okay. Oh, at least roll over. Bye. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a cool one. Number one Sparks fan in the world. So we're going to play a song right Former now. Former number one. Yeah, yeah right. Really. <laughs> She's going to call you guys up tonight. So about that pre-concert party. Like, <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to play uh, Modesty Plays from the album Music You Can Dance To right now. And uh, while we're playing it, we'll go to the phone lines and take um, a high caller. So um, a caller between like... 30 and 50. What number should we take? That would be uh, 37. 37? Mm -hmm. Actually, your number's, your number's 36 in our in our slot. That's not a chart position, but that's... Oh. What a coincidence. <laughs> hey. Okay, 818 or 213 5 okay? Operators yeah. are standing by. It's K-R-O-Q, Sparks and Modesty Plays. We're up to call number 31. 
Caller 37 is going to sp uh, score the Spice tickets for Saturday night Pacific Amphitheatre. Also passes for the uh, pre-concert party, and that's going to be hosted by April. <coughs> April, the uh, yeah. ever alert at 8.32 yeah, in the morning, April. That's right, man. She's going to kill me when she finds <laughs> out that we're going to play Fingertips, and she hasn't played it. That gets debuted on this show. I hope she's back asleep by now. She is. She's obviously asleep. <laughs> <laughs> she certainly rolled over. <laughs> okay, now, the, the Fingertips... Uh, uh, remix we're about to play is not the same fingertips as on the album, right? No, it's a completely different version. It's got a lot of the same same parts are in it, but they've all been kind of shuffled around. And then we also added a few new things, a new bass line, and there's, um, there's actually a, a girl vocal part in it that's not in the other version, which is sung by Pamela Stonebrook, who's a new singer that's also touring with us live. And... Um, yeah, it's different. It was done on 48 track, this one song, so we had like a infinite uh, amount of possibilities for mixing and you, stuff. So it's, it's, you're going to do the same thing with Pamela on tour that you did with Jane, of keep her in a, like an anvil flight case and just feed her cookies through the... Oh, uh, actually, Pamela's a bit taller, so the case that we had for Jane doesn't fit, uh -huh. so they're now, they're, they're building a bigger one, a bigger but one. like I don't know if we're going to have it for the Pacific this weekend, but okay. hopefully she'll, we'll get one. She'll day. be there, right? She'll, oh yo, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, she'll be there. She might be a little bit uncaged. Yeah, <laughs> deformed because because we didn't get the. We you ship her down from Santa Barbara from last night's gig. Oh, so. I see. All right. Were you intimidated at all doing a song that was originally a hit for such a you know American hero such as Stevie Wonder? Well, it was such a different approach to the song. I think that it wasn't a problem. And also, the other thing that we found out is that nobody nobody even knows that Stevie Wonder did that song. People assume that we wrote the song. I guess. We assume that everybody is kind of hip to that original version of the song by Stevie Wonder. And, and I'd never heard it originally because I was far too young at the time. My older well, brother called me up that one time. And my, my grandfather called that song to my attention. Oh, my I grandfather was into black music a lot. And okay, he, and he said this was this was a hit when I was young. So that's where it came from. I, actually, yes. Okay, well, we're going to take call number 37 and then go into fingertips. So we're up to 35 to 36. Hotline on hold, thank you. And <laughs> hi. Hi. Who's this? Hi. Who's this? Doug from Redondo Beach. Hi, Doug. Hi. It, it, I was number caller 15 and number 23. What am I now? You're 37. Happy birthday. <laughs> Close. Two weeks. What's yeah. up? Well, we've got oh. some tickets for you, Doug. I, I'll take them. That's a birthday present for me. All right. You like Sparks? I, I've been following them for five years. I, I love them. They're great. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Another relation calling for it. Yeah, right. we'll, 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 we'll get your checkers in the mail. So okay, Doug, you got a pair of tickets. See them tomorrow night at the Pacific Amphitheater. Also an invite for the K-Rock pre-concert party hosted by the Ever Alert April. It has nothing to do with it, April. I swear to God, nothing to do with it. The record I don't go back to sleep easily. I don't go back to sleep that easily. The president of, of MCA Records, Irv Azoff, is now in the studio here. He had a copy of it under his arm. It's like really bizarre. He came in here with the, the thing. It's like so strange, you know, to get a president of a major corporation Leave coming in. Leave me alone, Irv. Leave me alone. <laughs> They've actually brought another copy in. It's written... On it is written on. Let me see on the cover. It says, Lots of love to April. It does. Oh, yeah, that makes it all better. And acetate. Uh, it's the, the one that Richard's playing is all scratched and gnarly. And, it's not and nice. This, <laughs> this, one is, this one is a virgin copy. Well, why are you giving that one to April? Um, <laughs> so, because it's the, uh, the original one. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what, Ape. I'll tell you what. Well, they'll have to pay it for it. I'll tell you what. special way. Why don't you introduce it then, April? Because you're the number one Sparks fan in the world. I'm like the number. I think I'm probably number three after Doug from Redondo Beach. Doug from Redondo Beach. <laughs> okay, so you introduce it, and it's like you played it for the very first time. Oh, okay. Oh, Are you yeah. ready then? Yeah. Is it any good, you guys? It's it's not bad. It's passable. Okay, then in that case, uh, this would, of course, be the new mix of fingertips from Sparks. Oh, okay, right. Dynamic. <laughs> needle just... <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Richard! The needle fell off. <laughs> That's a hot mix. That's because it's all scratched up. It's a new one from Fingertips from Sparks. It's a new one called Fingertips by Sparks. And this is the one that they didn't let me break. They let Richard break.
Is that going to be commercially available one day? Yeah, well, in about a week and a half, we'll be out, as well as the new single version of the song, which is an edit from this version that you just played. Great, and you'll be able to hear that on every show in K Rock apart from April. She's not going to play any sparks. <laughs> I don't know, we just prefer to not hear. Right, no, she'll, she'll play it's a nothing few personal, tonight. Nothing right? personal. Congratulations, Doug Stork from Redondo Beach. He's one past us to see you uh, tomorrow night at the Pacific Amphitheater and the pre-concert party that was going to be hosted by April. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're hosting it. Yeah, I have to do That's a lot to be filled later. But right, he's also going to be going to Disneyland tonight for the Broadway's Back to School Party. In fact, I'm going to give away another pair of passes uh, for Disneyland and also for your concert at the Pacific. I've got another pair to give away for both, something for tonight and something for tomorrow. And what we're going to do is I'm going to clear the lines. I'm going to ask a question real quick. If you can give me a call at 818 or 213-520-1067 and tell me what Sparks song could be applied to Disneyland. And if you say all you ever think about is sex, I'm going to hang up on you. That okay? would be wrong. That would be absolutely wrong, right? So, uh, you ready? Ready. You, you can I, judge it. I, I know the answer. Hello, k Mickey Mouse. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> What's your name? Lisa, where are you coming from? Redondo Beach. Another, Another Redondo Beach, my God. Yeah, Redondo Beach, Sparks fans. Oh. Yeah, great. So you like Sparks? Uh, they're my favorite fan. Great. Oh, well, so we're going to get to see you tomorrow night then, I guess, huh, Lisa? Front row center. Front row center? I already got tickets. Okay. You already have tickets? Yeah. Have you got a friend that you can give these tickets to? Yeah, got lots of friends. And they all like Sparks? Definitely. Oh, what a girl. Well, thanks a lot. I'm going to put you on hold, Lisa, okay? Okay. Stay on the line so we make sure the tickets get to you. Well, you've got a lot of fans out there. Sounds, Sounds good. It's nice so, to hear. Shall we explain to him uh, about Mickey Mouse? Yeah, I, Disney Disney. I, don't, I don't get it. Well, I guess so it's, One know. of the characters, that we'll, we'll have to take him down Disneyland sometimes, yeah. explains. Yeah. Very famous yeah. American, like, folk hero. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks a lot for coming down. So you guys played Santa Barbara last night. You're doing the Pacific tomorrow night. Right. Then Palace on Saturday. Yeah. Right. And then the Palace again in a the couple Palace of weeks. The Palace again October, October 10th. 10th. All right, well, the that all new uh, second date that they just added. And rumor has it, hopefully in a few weeks' time, we're gonna get you on the Rock and Roll Evening News as well. That's right. We're gonna. It's a brand new show. That I think it's just starting this weekend. Is the first one that's tomorrow being afternoon, aired. five o'clock, with a friend of yours is gonna be kicking it off. Uh, Belinda. Belinda. Yeah, yeah. We heard she's on the first one. We're gonna be on in a couple weeks, and you're also. Uh, I'm one you're, of the, you're yeah. one of them guys. That, one of them uh, guys on, on that show. Yeah. Along with Robert Hilburn and and that. So thanks for coming by. You'll be uh, on the air probably tonight, apologizing to April. No, we will definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ron and Russell there. Flowers will be arriving real soon, I think. <laughs> It'll be in concert tomorrow and Sunday, Pacific and the Palace. Make sure you catch him. It's Friday night.